Rice farming for centuries has never been easy as it entails hard and costly labor. Other than the different weather conditions that a farmer must endure, the expensive cost of farm machineries that could help ease work and the lack of access to such only adds to the difficult situation a land worker must face every day. The prioritization of the government of the agriculture sector and the continuing researches and technological innovations and enhancements it has undertaken through the Department of Agriculture eventually lead to the development of technological programs that were cascaded to the farmer organizations benefiting individual farmers and their families. In Western Visayas, one of the innovations that has benefited the farmers is the use of riding and walk behind type transplanter. Under the Department of Agriculture Western Visayas Rice Program, Riding and walk behind type transplanters were distributed among several farmers' organizations around the region. The riding type transplanter is designed for transplanting rice seedlings in puddled and leveled field and is recommended for medium to large farms. It operates faster and efficiently as it can plant up to two hectares per day, providing optimal plant spacing and number of seedlings per hill. The major advantage of this machine with a four-stroke engine is its operability that requires only one person, unlike the usual practice where a farmer would need several farm workers during rice planting. The walk-behind rice transplanter, on the other hand, operates on a minimum of four HP gasoline engine and is recommended for small to medium sizes of farms. Both requires less time than the manual transplanting and minimizes drudgery and cost of transplanting. Both ensures higher crop productivity and optimal plant spacing and number of seedlings per hill. Ang beneficyo sa paggamit sa transplanter ang lesser ang time consume uh, instead nga one day sa one hectare labor transplant magiging two to three hours ang one hectare sa transplanter. Ang labor cost uh, nagiging lesser. Uh, instead nga 30 person sa one hectare uh, per transplanter, transplant sang tawo, ang sa transplanter is uh, et, uh, 8,000 lang per hectare ang amon nga package deal. Uh, samantala ang sa tawo, uh, 30 person ang mapanom sa 1 hectare, uh, i-times muna sa 300 per person. And then, uh, may pamahaw ka pa, may panyaga ka pa, nga ipakuan sa ila, pa kaon. And then, may pamahaw naman sa hapon. And isa pa dira ang aton nga, uh, ang ginatawag namon dira sa uma nga may kwan pa, may painom-inom. Mas nakasib gidi ang mga manguma sa paggamit sang transplanter. Nag-improve ang manguma sa paggamit sang transplanter tungod ang production nagdako. Uh, tungod ang transplanter, uh, bali ang iyang... Uh, Uh, agi is pantay-pantay ang pagtanom tapos madigwa siya ang pagipi sa humay kag uh, dalag ko ang bunga uh, kumpar sa uh, tawo sang una nga nagatanom nga uh, ang pagtanom is ikit-ikit hindi makagipi ang kuan ang humay nga uh, hindi dalag ko ang bunga kag ang production medyo gamay siya kumpar sa uh, paggamit namon sang transplanter nga nagdako ang production namon Dako gid ang pagpasalamat ko sa Department of Agriculture nga uh, nagasuport sa amon sa amon asosasyon sa pagbulig sa amon nga kinahanglan nga mga manguma sa paghatag sini sang transplanter kag iban nga mga machineries uh, especially na gid sa rice nga naga uh, support gid diri sa BMP ya sa kay Sir James Ugates, salamat gid sa kay Regional Technical Director kay Ma'am Remilene Recruiter. Thank you, thank you so much.
for supporting sa among nga association kay Sir Albert Barugos kag sa staff sang tanan nga di nga naga uh, support gid sang amon nga mga kinahanglanon diri sa uh, amon nga asosasyon uh, salamat gid sa inyo tanan Indeed The farm mechanization program of the government has effectively lowered the cost of production in rice farming, thus helping farmers increase their yield with a minimum cost input. With the apparent shortage of farm labor nowadays, the benefit provided by the use of riding and walk-behind rice transplanter have given farmers a lot of ease and help. The benefits brought about by the continuing farm mechanization under the rice program of the Agriculture Department are raising the lives of the farmers little by little from its current difficult situation. The program is expected to eventually result to food stability and even more, a sustainable rice production in the country that is no longer dependent on importation. Uh, with regards to the implementation of the Rice Competitiveness Enhancement Fund, which uh, was the result of the issuance and uh, yung law, uh, passage of the law on uh, rice tarification law. Uh, one of the components uh, is farm mechanization. And it's the filmic who is uh, responsible for the distribution of farm machineries like uh, tractors, transplanters, and uh, uh, granule applicator from uh, the rice program also. We could say na the farm machineries distributed out of the National Rice Program and RCEP is not yet enough for everyone. So with the remaining three years in the implementation of RCEP, uh, we hope that uh, we could cover all the farmers' association. It's not for individual uh, farmers, but it's for farmers' association and cooperatives. With the limited uh, budget on the rice program as well as that of the Rice Competitiveness Enhancement uh, Fund. Of course, one of our uh, major direction is for farm clustering. Uh, with farm clustering, uh, there is economies of scale. Um, our target is for 100 hectares and above uh, for rice commodity that they be clustered so that uh, interventions of the Department of Agriculture will likewise be uh, provided once uh, they have the cluster development plan. Along the value chain of rice, uh, they can uh, request or they can uh, avail of the services based on the cluster. So what's, what is needed for the cluster that has to be proposed also by the Department of Agriculture. Sa subong uh, tinion, um, ang aton nga industriya sa Kumay uh, nagapangatubang sa dako nga challenge. And the challenge is of course yung taas nga presyo sa abono. Aton nga presidente, uh, at the same time DA Secretary, President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos, uh, nag hikotar man sang isaka programa nga maka-respond gid ang Department of Agriculture sa ining nga challenge by the provision of fertilizer discount vouchers na konsa diin ang aton mga farmers maka-avail sini especially sa sa humay Department of Agriculture Western Visayas we serve what farmers deserve